Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to discuss how to trademark an artist or band name. So I still get this question often, how do I go about trademarking my artist or band name? And it's, it's actually fairly simple. You can do it with or without a lawyer. And it's not cheap though. I wouldn't consider it too cheap, but it can get up there in price depending on what's going on. A trademark will protect your name and or logo so no one else can use it. So you kind of need that protection if you plan on taking your music internationally. So let's go over the simple steps. First off, you should visit the United States Patent and Trademark Office online to do a trademark search. You need to make sure that no one else has your name before you trademark the name yourself. You just got to click on search marks, enter your name or your band's name, and proceed to see what comes up. If you are in a band, you should decide who will own the trademark before you start the process for sure. Now, another thing you need to do is identify the field classes you want your trademark to cover. So this means basically, say you are, want to use your name for music, and you also want it on t-shirts and things like that. When you trademark your name, you can only protect the name in specific class areas, such as entertainment, recorded music, for clothing, things like that. So you, the more categories you pick, the more expensive it's going to be. So you need to decide on which fields you want to cover, want to be covered in. After you do all that, you fill out the application online using the trademark electronic application system. Just follow the directions, make sure there's no errors, and your fees are due at the time of filing. Now, the fees can get kind of pricey. It's cheaper to file online, so that's, what the, that's why I chose these steps. And the trademark fees for electronic applications are around $225 to $400 per class of goods or services. So if you're doing it for a few things, like to be on clothing, to use for the music industry, that's already, you know, two times that. It's not cheap, but it is worth it to do. Now, if you don't want to go through the headache of doing the search and going through all the filing and all that stuff, you can hire a lawyer to do it. Or you can also go to LegalZoom.com. They will do it for you for a fee. So you got to pay LegalZoom's fee, plus you got to pay the fee to the trademark office. So... Again, it's not cheap, but it will take away the headache of doing it yourself online. So after you do all that, it takes some time, and once you're squared away, you're good to go. Then you are protected for your artist or band name. You don't have to worry about it, and that's it. So I hope you understood and liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. There's tons of things on music business that you can learn from. Also, in the description down below, there's tons of things to help you out. There's ebooks you can download. There's discounts on services like TuneCore and Bandzoogle and DistroKid, things like that. If you need those services, use the links to below to uh, get a good discount on them. Now, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.